Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a little bit of an organizational video showing you a couple of changes that I've made in my room. I will have my room organization playlist if you want to see what it looked like before. But here I'm just showing you here, these is where, uh, right here is where I store my thickers. I have gone ahead because I had that extra kind of clear bin that you see on that top shelf there. Um, I had it left over. Um, so I did a little bit of tidying of my thickers, putting things back. And now what I have here on my, in that clear bin here, I'm just showing you kind of the the different sizes of the different shelves. But what I have now in that clear um the acrylic bin, there is um, phrases, I have multicolor, and I have a bunch of small packages of thickers that I want to use up. Everything else in terms of the thickers is stored uh, by color. I also have what you see right next to it are my composition notebooks that I have by manufacturer of um, die cuts that don't really go with any uh, collection that I currently have in my uh, in my space. And then that white binder is also relatively new. Um, I had I have now um, the chipboard that is not collection related um, all in there. There's not a lot. Um, I struggle with chipboard. That is nothing new. If you're new to my channel, this is me. <laughs> I struggle with chipboard and so I don't have a ton of it. Here I'm just showing you some additional pieces that I have tidied up. <clears throat> excuse me, I have a drawer at the bottom of one of my Alex drawers right next to my desk. And it holds basically all of my bags for storage. I have gone through this. Um, I, I have kept those two kind of bundles that are um, with the elastic bands, but I mostly use everything else uh, without the elastic bands. I'm just keeping those kind of in my stash. I mostly use record sleeves for storage. Those are probably my favorite. And then the other storage bags are mostly six by 12. This is on the other side. It's another um, Alex, um, the short Alex drawers. And this is uh, a drawer that I affectionately call words. So it's everything regarding um, any kind of title and, and little words that I can use. So I've tidied that up. Here I've had some leftover containers in kind of my area and I've refilled my ATG. I love having this kind of full, still being able to access it. And then I have some additional adhesive materials and more items to be able to sort. So those I'm just showing you the fun foam. I have those kind of, um, just cut up in in um, sections so that they can fit into that storage and just some other attachments and more uh, adhesive but that's essentially what goes in this particular drawer and then this is another drawer that i tidied up this has my finishers, my lump and bump, whatever, however you refer to it in your stash. This is basically everything that I pretty much have that is dimensional and that um, isn't like doesn't have like one item left of it. It has like a whole package basically. And so those used to sit um, flat in the drawers, but I didn't access them um, you know, in a, in a fast way. And so I used a, a container that was gifted to me that was already in my stash that I can easily flip through. I've also put my sticker books in here because that's one thing. I only have two of them left. I used to have the Maggie Holmes one, but I've gone through it, used it all up. Um, and I just didn't have, I didn't want to create another space for stickers because right now, any 12 by 12 stickers um, that are not with collections are in a separate area. So this is another drawer. This is in my tall Alex drawer. This, this has all of my tags. 
Um, I also have like library pockets, if you will, there and my doilies. Um, that kind of mesh bag that you see my doilies in is something that I can easily pull to my desk. It has an assortment. And um, I also bring that to the crops. And underneath it is everything else that I need for refilling it uh, behind it. Um, and then off to the front there on the side, I'm pointing to it now, is all of my stitching. Anything related to stitching is, is placed there. Everything from needles to, um, what are those, like stencil, like stitching stencils. And then um, all of that is contained within that baggie. And then here I'm just showing you kind of my, my little bag that I have for my doilies. And I did go through... Um, collapsed a lot of the packaging. Um, some of my doilies were getting ruined, particularly the larger ones that were in packages. Um, so I've made sure that all of um, all of it is kind of contained. I could not believe how much packaging I got rid of. Um, I wish I would have taken a shot here of like all the packaging as I was going through it. This is where um, this is where my chipboard was. So right now it is empty. It is an empty drawer, still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with it, not quite sure. And I'm wondering, I think that's it for that Alex drawer. Bills, bills and more bills, that's where I keep them. Anyway, here is something that I now, because it used to sit on the top of my Rascog, now sits on top of my desk. It is this right hand portion of the acrylic um, container is actually meant for like hair dryers and hair supplies or something like that. I bought it from Aldi years ago, got lost in the move, got found like two years later. And um, so now it just sits on my desk. I put a container within a container because I, I wanted something a little bit longer to be able to hold my misty. I have some um, ready cut um, photo mats, things like that. Okay, so here is a segue into my Rascog. This is what I'm holding. This holds right now my current kit. The peach looking sorter, I know you can't see all of it, is new to my space. I don't have anything this big. I've tried to create it with other things. Um, this is um, a poppin um, desk organizer and I found mine. I tried to look everywhere but I could only find it at Staples and I went to my local Staples and they actually had it on clearance. So I was very lucky and I was able to get it on clearance. It wasn't in my preferred color. They only had this color, but I figure I would just try it. One of the things that I love about it is that I can move that partition that you see kind of sitting there towards um, the back of the, the screen or the um, is actually removable. So you can actually place different sizes in there you don't you're not married to those sizes there and it still leaves me some room on the sides of the um of the container to be able to put anything additional that i might want as well as in the front so i love that about this um you know if i wanted to put thickers there on the side i could do that or the front or the back it allows me to be able to do that that's one of the things that i have been looking for i just my wish would have been that it be clear or in some kind of neutral color, but alas, here we are. I just didn't want to be, I didn't want to be tied to having fixed size containers. And that is, you can find something very comparable that is clear um, or translucent uh, at Target. Uh, you can order it online, but it doesn't have the ability to uh, change the dimensions of the compartments in the front. So that is it, guys. I am so uh, glad to be bringing you this kind of um, more updated uh, look at my room. And I sure hope that you'll come back again. Until next time, bye for now.